Hey guys, this is Tyne. I'm excited to be joining you tonight for Motivational Monday. I'm here to share with you some tips and strategies on how I balance a busy life with my Young Living business. So I'm the mom of four children and the wife of one, namely Caleb Hottie White. He's awesome. And we have four kids, but I also teach kindergarten full time. And so currently I'm at the rank of silver with Young Living and working towards gold and so close. Um, but I wanted to share with you some strategies. And one of the first things that I wanted to share with you is using your time wisely. So social media can be an incredible tool for you, but it can also be a huge time suck. So one thing that I like to do, and I don't always do this, but one thing I really try to do is to go into Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest with a plan. A list of things that I want to accomplish when I'm there so that I don't get sidetracked by posts and oh what a cute wedding picture and stuff like that. So I go in with a plan of things that I need to get accomplished and then spend some time using the social media for socializing. And uh, that's always a, a perk. And then if you're trying to generate some interest among your friends, then it's also really important that you're uh, commenting on their posts. So if you just like all your friends' posts, then you're not going to be connecting with them because of the way that Facebook is structured. You need to be commenting on their posts so that they're active in your social, uh, social networking uh, feed. Uh, the other thing about social media is that it can be really, really helpful, but it can be a time suck. So, yeah, don't go there. And then another thing that I do is I try to duplicate effective systems. So I look at systems that have been done by our upline already and then duplicate them so that I'm not reinventing the wheel. Examples of this are the sharing the basics letter or welcome letters. Those are not things that you have to rewrite all for yourself, but you can tweak and modify them and use them to your benefit. You also want to come up with some good templates because as you w very well know, you will be answering the same question a billion times. So come up with some good email templates of uh, ways to answer questions like how do I sign this person up or how do I use essential oil safely or things like that. And you want to just use that template and then just address it to somebody else. So. You're not having to re-answer the same question a million times. And um, also, duplicate yourself. So as your business grows and you start to get more members underneath you and those members start to share with others and sign people up, you have the potential of doing some crazy time-sucking micromanagement if you do not duplicate your leadership skills. So you want to start teaching your downline how to make links for their downline and you want to teach them how to stack you want to teach them how to host classes or teach classes and stuff like that so reproducing yourself will help you so that you're not having to do a billion tasks that somebody else could do and that's about leveraging your time and your efforts uh, so don't micromanage and then also find figure out what is in your gifting so if you're really great at teaching classes, but not particularly great at hosting classes, or not really great with media stuff, then find your niche of what works best for you. If you're great at following up with people and teaching them how to use their oils and stuff like that, then do that and um, you'll find great success in this. I have one person in my downline who is a fabulous hostess. I'm not, but I'm pretty good at teaching and so She'll always toast classes and I'll always come teach those classes. And then we invite everybody in our downline to invite their friends to come to these classes and attend them. And so our downline's not having to host or teach, but we're reaping the reward of them showing up with their friends and prospects and signing up. So it's really um, beneficial. And then I don't have to find 20 new signups a month because my downline is signing people up. And then just following up with them is a great thing. So figure out what your gifting is, um, whether it be following up or teaching classes or Facebook or media or whatever. And then um, also just being careful to compartmentalize your time so that you're not spinning your wheels all day long. So figure out a time where you're going to answer all of your emails or figure out a time where you're going to answer all of your Facebook questions 
and then just do it all at once so you're not spending all day doing it um, that's something that I really struggle with and one thing that is helpful to me is to keep notes on my phone of things that I need to follow up with and then I just delete them as I check them off my list that's a list that I always have with me and that it's not a notebook that I'm going to lose or fi lose a page to or something like that I also keep a running list on my phone of prospects who have shown interest in the business or interest in buying a premium starter kit but never signed in or never really followed through and I always follow up with them every couple months so those are just some tips that I found helpful and one other thing when you're training your downline and your business builders below you uh, in duplicating yourself it doesn't have to look exactly like you so that's something that I really struggle with and I've had to kind of let go of some of my type A tendencies um, for example, I want my kids to fold their laundry a very specific way, but really I just need to be grateful if they're folding laundry and putting it away. So uh, same thing with your downline. You know, you may want them to do things a very specific way, but if they're getting it done and it's effective, then that's a great thing. So anyway, I hope that's helpful to you. Ask me if you have any questions. See you soon.